It is me, Mega Simmer. If you haven't heard of me, hi, nice to meet you. I'm Kirsten, other known as Mega Simmer, um, and I do Sims Let's Plays, cast and build videos, um, mostly Let's Plays and stuff like that or challenges. But I'm bringing a new challenge today called the Sims for Bachelorette, or is it Bachelor? I think it's Bachelorette because we have a girl. I'll you'll see in the title. I'll figure that out later. But hey, if you welcome back if you are a regular subscriber and welcome to the series. So if this sim looks any tad bit familiar to you, you are right. Um, because it is Michelle Cope. She was from my orphanage challenge that I just ended. Um, I gave her a complete makeover. She looks like a whole other sim, whole different hair color, completely adult now. Um, I decided to use her because the Orphan Challenge is dear to my heart, and I wanted to continue the family even if it wasn't that challenge. So I brought her here to find the love of her life as she never found anyone. So that's what she looks like now. She's grown up quite a bit. Um, her family is still here. So. Or she doesn't really, it doesn't say she knows them, but she does. She does know them. Don't worry. I just had to put them into a new save file, so it's kind of what I did, um, so the relationships might not be the same, but you know, it's kind of whatever. I can fix that sooner or later, but, 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 um, let's get started. So, the, this challenge, you basically, if you haven't seen the rules, I'll probably link them down below if I remember to, but you just have to, there's going to be 25, 20, no, no, not 25 certain amount of days and each day is one part and there will be certain things you have to do each part and that's what we have to do so this part is called breaking the ice and we just kind of um, have to get to know everyone and it's very anonymous you you can't play any of the other sims what you do is kind of anonymous mostly what uh, they can just do whatever they want I have anonymy on high I'll make sure I do gameplay Yes, anonymy full. So she can do whatever she wants, and so can the guys. And what they have to do is get to know everyone. But I guess I'll introduce you guys to everyone. So we'll start off with Michelle Cope. So in case you guys don't know who she is, she is a painter extraordinaire. So she's not a career, obviously, because we're all here. But these are her skills and her relationships. She only knows that's her mother, Bridget. Um, the the she is clumsy, a perfectionist, and romantic and amuser. So I think that's a really cute, interesting choice of traits for her. Um, so that is Michelle. We'll start off with contestant number one, who is Greg Rosario. Ro Ros what is it? Greg Rosario. Ro Ro Rosario. R Rosario, something like that, Rosario. So this is Greg. I created him. I created about half of these guys because a lot of you guys didn't make me sims, but whatever. So here he is. Um, he's a very interesting sim. I actually really like him. He is, wants to be an, well, his aspiration is an outdoor enthusiast. He's not in a career, but these are his skills. Obviously, they don't have much because they were just in the world. But he is a vegan, and this is a custom trait, so he doesn't like meat. Um, he's outgoing and a goofball and a collector. They are all young adults, um, but this is who he is. Isn't he just amazing? Um, also, I will have a backstory on them when they become the final contestants. So I won't do them all right now because that's a lot of backstories that I don't really want to do. But our next contestant is right here, Adrienne Malak. Um, hopefully she walks right past. Okay. This was made by my friend Fruity Simmer. Um, she made him for me, so thank you. He's actually a really good looking sim. I really like him. But he's a soulmate, so he wants to find a soulmate. Um, okay. He is romantic, good, and a bro. So this is going to be a very interesting guy to me. Um, and he's alluring. So that is Adrian. Next we have a sim that I made, Daxon Andrews. Of course, he's playing his chess. Typical Daxon. Um, we may just call him Dax for short. But this is what he looks like. He's pretty good looking, guys. He's also, he looks very young to me, which I think is interesting. 
how some look younger than others, but he's a bookworm, jealous, family oriented and a miser because he wants to be a best-selling author, which is very cute to me. Um, so that is Jackson. Next, we have Aiden Chance, who was made by my friend Grace. Um, so she made Aiden for me. Very good looking sim. Um, so he's a party animal and he is a dance machine, goofball, outgoing, and gregarious. So that is, he's very rebellious. I kind of love it. Um, next, we have Marcus. Woodson, who I created. Hopefully I can show you guys what he looks like. Well, you can see him right there, but this is him. Um, yeah, so he is a slob, romantic, and ambitious. He is a master mixologist. That's what he wants to do. Um, okay, nope. And next we have Emmett Silver, who... We have Emmett Silver, who has... This is what he looks like. Um, you can tell he has a skin, um, I don't know the right word, but the skin thing, but that's that's just something he was born with. Um, if that's what you guys were wondering, if you just couldn't tell. Um, but he wants to have a big happy family. Um, he actually has a son, Brendan. Their mom passed away. I have a cute couple little short story um, stories for them. That way it doesn't make sense because it wouldn't make sense if I if he ended up being a final contestant and then I'd be like, oh yeah, he's a son by the way. Like that doesn't really collide. So I ended up having him have a little son and their mom passed away, which is why he's here trying to find someone else. And so, oops, did I go over his traits? I probably did not. He is a geek, family orientated, and clumsy. Next we have Derek, who I also made. He's Actually, my I lied, I lied, I didn't make him, I got him off the gallery. So, but I did change him quite a bit, um, so I wouldn't really, yeah, I changed him a lot, so it's probably not even close to what the person made, but it's pretty close, so still, so thank you to whoever made him, but he's self-assured, active, romantic. I did end up giving him a daughter named Sophia, um, and he owns custody of her, but right now she's staying with her mom, Danielle. Um, so they obviously got in a divorce, and he's here trying to find another love. And he wants to be fabulously wealthy. Um, so that is all the Sims. Now we're just going to go ahead and get into this anonymous stuff and see kind of what they do. We're supposed to kind of, maybe we'll come play some foosball with everyone. Um, this is the house. I didn't, I'm not going to do a full tour because that's going to take quite a while. But this is the front of the house. When you come in, you've got a whole workout room over here. And you've got the whole kitchen. It's a really nice house. I didn't build it, but it's beautiful. It's a lot of get-together stuff. Um, we got a huge bathroom over here. The living room, which is pretty cool. I guess all the guys are watching TV. So, whatever. You guys, you do you. We got a foosball table over here and a dining area and a bar. And outside, we just have um, another seating area, pool, hot tub, all that kind of stuff. In the basement, we've got a whole party area, which is going to be very helpful. And upstairs, we have Michelle's room, which she's obviously enjoying, I can see. Then we've got three guys who are going to sleep in here. And we've got all this, another bathroom, another bathroom, and some more rooms and stuff. So she's actually feeling flirty already. We should probably go and play some foosball with everyone. Um, I'll just click some four sims and we'll go play some foosball. So let's go ahead and play with um, Jackson, Derek, Marcus, and Adrian. Oh, well not Adrian, my bad. We're all just, I just randomly chose, oh my god, they're not going to be able to freaking use this because of this little bear. I'll just delete it because I don't really care about that that much. Um, yeah, so this challenge we're just going to go through and see who finds the love of our life. And I'll most likely continue with them because um, I'm just connected with them now. And I probably will be very connected once we find out who we want to be with. But Michelle is really different. She used to have blonde hair. But I kept that hipster kind of artsy style that she had. Okay. So do I need to re-click all this now? 
Derek. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and play with Derek here. I'm curious, I want you guys to tell me down below, from what you've seen and the traits, who do you just guess might be in the finals? You can guess up to three people that you think will be in the finals, and you'll see how close you guys get. I want to make this interactive with you guys, so if there's ever a tie, we can easily... It's supposed to be off of relationships. Um, can you, like, play with people? That'd be great. Um, so they're all just going to chat for a little bit. Let's see what kind of whims she gets too. But she's feeling flirty, which is interesting. Do you know everyone? But you do. So they're all gonna play. Have some fun, you know. So I'm just gonna read to you guys what it says to do for day one. And it says Welcome home. Take this to get everyone settled in. Put in some game tables, chess tables, bar, whatever such items you have able to break the ice. Interact with the contestants and vice versa. Keep it friendly. Well, this ain't a friendly game. So let's talk with Jackson a little bit. Let's discuss our interests, maybe. And get to know him. Brightness day. So we're just going to talk. Talk, talk. No, we're going to talk with Dax a little bit. As you can see, all the other people are kind of making friends, and they seem to be becoming friends, which is cool. Very cool. We're going to go ahead and talk with Jackson for a little bit. Let's go talk to Emmett Silver. So we're going to brighten his day, and maybe get to know him. And... Ask her how he's doing. He has to be away from the sun, which is hard. And we're going to go ahead and just get to know him. Let's go ahead and get rid of these wins. Let's not, we don't want to do these. What does she want to do here? Ask someone to go steady. Oh, no. Want to with darts. Okay, maybe we'll come play some darts with him. So, play with Emmett. I love this. This is making stuff fun. Like, it's going to be fun to, like, continue with them since, like, I know this whole, how they found each other and stuff. But when we find the right guy, hopefully he's here in this room. Well, he is. We already know this. But they're going to play a game of some darts. Let's kind of see what everyone else is doing. So, they're just chatting with each other, which is great. He's kind of by himself. Um... Are the boys all still? They're all still playing foosball, which is cool. Yeah, I feel like Jackson is the youngest one here, in my opinion, and I just think it's kind of interesting. And I would say either Emma or Derek are the oldest, as they have kids, you know. So looks like they're having some fun over here. <laughs> This is cute. This is really cute. Okay. So. Oh, that's. We're going to go ahead and tell him. Oh, well, what, what did she want to crap? Derek couldn't keep up with Jackson and Marcus. He ended up losing 5-2. to two. Oh, I didn't know it told you that. Look at that. Six. That's cool. We're going to have a deep conversation with him and maybe discuss the game and stuff. So since they finished the game, what are they all doing? What does this say? You're a sim Ryan Supreme at flipping little foosball players. This skill cannot be denied. That's pretty cool. So he's gonna go grab something to eat. What is... Who else was playing? We had them too. And then you. What are you doing? You're just watching our game? Oh, I just clicked the M button. I'm talking with Emmett now. We've talked to him for a little bit. Hmm. Let's go ahead and talk with Adrian. Actually, he's going to the bathroom. Never mind. Come over here and talk to Daxon like I wanted you to, but you never really did. So you're going to come get to know him. We're going to try and talk to everyone, which is going to be really hard to do. But we're just going to just chat just for a little bit, you know, and we're going to talk with him for a little bit, see what he's kind of into and stuff. As you see how he looks a lot younger. 
interesting though. And we'll go ahead and discuss our color theory with him and then also talk to, um, what is your name? Aiden, 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 Aiden. Get to know Aiden, maybe, and discuss our interests with him. And then brighten your day. Just talk, talk with everyone for a little bit. They're all dancing and having fun. What's everyone else kind of doing? What is she? You already won a game of darts. We all know you did. Um, everyone else is just kind of doing their own thing around the house. Getting cozy. Getting cozy. We have $60,000, which is, you know, cool, cool, cool for the bachelor. So we're just talking with Greg and Aiden here. Not Greg. Uh, Jackson. Getting all these names straight. Mm, it's going to get me for a while. We're going to go ahead and have a telephone story, maybe. Mm. Tell an engaging story and then maybe just just get to know everyone for a little bit. I believe every third part we eliminate someone. I think that's how it works. So once we're done talking with these two, let's go ahead and see how uh did someone make food? Um how Adrian is like we're gonna give him a heartfelt compliment and um he's like i'm so gorgeous mm. okay we're gonna go ahead and get to know him and then maybe discuss our interests i don't even know if they have any but we'll just kind of chat with everyone see how everyone is doing you know just the usual stuff um what are you guys all doing Greg is cooking. A lot of people are feeling flirty. Marcus is going to go play some video games. Derek, what are you wearing? What are you wearing? This is a side I've never seen of you. Uh, yeah, can you, like, not wear that? Thanks. Um, Alright, let's head back over to Michelle. So, she is just chatting with all these people. So maybe we'll talk to Adrian just a little more. I'm debating if I want to have you guys vote who do you think should be out or if I should just do it on whoever has the lowest relationship like you're supposed to. But I kind of think it'd be more fun if you guys voted because sometimes you don't get to talk to everyone. And I just feel like you guys would decide who you think didn't seem that compatible with her or wasn't doing as much with her. Or you just don't think it was right. If you know what I'm saying. But I'm going to have them stop and maybe you can come talk. Or you're actually hungry. I got to remember needs. Go to the bathroom. Got to remember them needs. And we can go ahead and someone made food. I don't know if they made a whole meal. But we're going to come over here and hire a... Let's hire a mom as our caterer. Why not? That's her mother. So she's going to come make us some food. Because, you know, Brooks come talk to Marcus. We haven't really talked to him. Since he's right here kind of creeping outside the bathroom. But we're going to go ahead and get to know him. And give him some of a funny story, maybe. She wants to view a piece of art. Fertilize bush. So we're going to come talk to him for a little bit. And Emmett's here too, which is cool. But he's going to probably head off, I see. So half of us are feeling flirty, the other half are all happy, so kind of interesting. So what we're going to do is, is her mother here yet cooking us food? Oh, she is. This is her mom, if you don't know. This is Bridget Cope. Looks, she looks more like her dad to me, but I can see how she looks like her mom. Her mom's really pretty. She actually has a brother and a sister, so... I have to show you guys that another time. Um, but she is just talking to Daxon. I guess we'll discuss our interests with him. And he's thinking about woohoo, which is cool. Buy a pool light, play darts, cannonball into the pool. Cool, cool, cool. So who we really talk to? I feel like we've talked to everyone at least a little bit today. 
Um, maybe we can have a nice little pool party. Actually, she's going to go ahead and grab some food her mom just made. Uh, where are you going, honey? Where are a serving? I don't really know where she's going. Oh, there's food out here. Someone made us hamburgers. So she's going to come sit down where everyone's all eating. And I guess let's just see who she maybe starts talking to. I don't know if she will. But let's just see if she does start to chat with anyone. And as you can see, they're all leaving. I'm going to put the walls down for now so it's... Oh, I guess not. Okay. Okay, so she's starting to talk to Greg, which is, it's kind of interesting. He's asleep. It's kind of interesting to see what people kind of do, you know? Like, who they talk to. And Greg is very playful. Aw, look at the way he's looking at her. That's cute. So she's talking to Greg on her own. <laughs> kind of want them to do their own thing, kind of see what pops up. She's gossiping with Greg. Okay. I mean, if you guys are tired, you are more than welcome to go to sleep. Why don't you go pee? I know you're not really supposed to play them, but I think you can do that for me and stuff. So why don't you go pee? Um, Michelle, are you still eating? Yes, you are. Why don't you talk to Daxon? Because he's the only one here. It's right in his day. Everyone else kind of left to go do their own stuff. And we'll discuss interest. Tell an engaging story. Chat with him just for a little bit. Um, let's see if her, all the food is still cooking. Are you still cooking? Oh, you are. Um, we'll go ahead and throw that in the fridge. So, he's actually feeling uncomfortable. Oh, you need to pee. It's just go, 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 go. I know I ain't supposed to play you, but just go. Um, the only other person that's up right now is Adrian. I mean, Emmett, 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 Emmett. So, I guess we'll come talk with Emmett a little bit. And he's feeling happy, so we'll have a deep conversation, you know. He can tell us about his son, maybe, and we'll brighten his day. All that sort of stuff. And then I think we'll head off to sleep, because it is midnight. We're pooped. Um, I'm going to hope they're all sleeping in the correct beds that I assigned them. Yes, they are. This is Adrian's bed, and not Adrian. Oh, my God. Greg's bed. This is Adrian's. There we go. There we go. Aiden is over here in this bed. Marcus is there. Derek is there. And I believe Emmett is in the other room. And yeah, and then Jackson is up there. But she's going to go to sleep in her luxurious room. But that's where I'm going to end this part. So really, the next part, I think I'll tell you guys then. But I'm actually really excited for this part. I'm really, like, I'm just super excited for the series. And it's great that I'm playing Michelle because, like, I just, oh my god, it just makes me very happy that I'm continuing their family. She's a really gorgeous and This is her sleepwear, guys. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this part and you want to see more. And if you haven't heard of me, welcome again to my channel. I hope you subscribe and continue to watch this series. If you want to see Michelle as a child growing up, you can check out my orphanage challenge. It's 23 parts. That's a lot. But if you want to sprint watch them, binge watch them, go for it. But if you don't, then that's cool too. But I hope you guys enjoy and um, I hope you guys love my channel. And that is it. So I see you all next time. Bye guys.